Chapter 16, Covalent Bonding The Lewis dot structure is a blueprint that you will use to build your molecule. Just like the blueprint of a house doesn't actually look like the house, your Lewis dot structure will not look like your molecule. It will be what you use to help build your molecule. Molecular structure is based on the VSEPR model, or VSEPR model. This stands for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion. And this will describe exactly how the electrons arrange themselves to form the molecule. The arrangement of the valence electrons around the central atom determines the molecular structure. And the molecular structure will determine the physical and chemical properties of the molecule. It is the central atom that controls all of the molecular geometry. Valence shell electron pair repulsion model predicts the three-dimensional geometry. The valence shell are, of course, the outer electrons that are bonding. The electron pairs are going to repel each other, so they're going to arrange themselves around the central atom to try to get as far away as possible. This arrangement will determine the angles of bonds and the geometry of the molecule. The pairs of electrons will get as far away from each other as possible while still being attracted to the nucleus, and a structure forms that balances all these forces. If you have only one atom attached to the central atom, okay, it will be attracted to the nucleus. Two atoms attached to the central atom will arrange themselves as far apart as possible in order to reduce their repulsions. So they will take up 180 degrees from each other around the central atom. Three bonding pairs around the central atom will take what's called a trigonal planar, or 120 degrees, bond angle away from each other in order to reduce repulsions. Four atoms around the central atom will arrange themselves in a tetrahedral. This is the distance that they can be furthest apart. It's 109 degrees and forms a tetrahedral shape. Five atoms around the central atom form a trigonal bipyramidal arrangement. And six form an octahedral. It is the central atom that controls the shape since all of the bonding atoms around it arrange themselves to be as far apart from each other as possible. If you have lone pairs instead of bonding pairs around the central atom, those lone pairs will actually repel more than the bonding pairs. You can see that the methane with four bond pairs has a bond angle of 109.5. If you have a lone pair, such as in the ammonia, instead of a bonding pair, that lone pair will squeeze those remaining bond angles down to 107. In the water molecule with two lone pairs, you will squeeze that bond angle even closer to a 104.5 bond angle. The effect of lone pairs will cause the bond angles to change. If you have only two total electron pairs and both of them are bonding with no lone pairs, the geometry of your molecule will be linear. If you have three total electron pairs and all three of them are bonded with no lone pairs, you will have a trigonal planar geometry. If you have three total electron pairs, two of them are bonded and one of them is a lone pair, then you will have a bent geometry to your molecule. If you have four electron pairs, all four are bonded, none of them are lone pairs, you will have a tetrahedral geometry. If you have four total electron pairs, three are bonded and one are lone pairs, you will have a trigonal pyramidal geometry. If you have four total electron pairs, two bonding pairs and two lone pairs, then your geometry will be bent. Working with five total electron pairs, all five bonded with no lone pairs, will give you the shape that is called trigonal bipyramidal. 
If you have five total electron pairs, four bonding, and one lone pair, you will have what's called seesaw. Five total pairs, three bonded, two lone pairs will give you a T-shaped molecular geometry. And five total electron pairs, two bonded, and three lone pairs will give you a linear molecular geometry. Working with six total electron pairs, all six bonded and no lone pairs, gives you an octahedral molecular geometry. Six electron pairs, five bonded, and one lone pair will give you square pyramidal molecular geometry. Six total electron pairs, four bonded, two lone pairs will give you square planar molecular Six electron pairs, three bonded, three lone pairs will give you a T-shaped molecular geometry. And six total electron pairs with two bonding pairs and one lone pair will give you a linear molecular geometry. When you are building your molecules, your multiple bonds do not affect your molecular geometry. So multiple bonds will be counted as one bond. So if you were counting the number of bonds around this carbon, you would count one, two, three with no lone pairs. So this shape, based on your rules, would be trigonal planar. Again, with more advanced molecules, when you must exceed the octet rule, your extra electrons will go on the central atom. Here you can see that sulfur is holding a total of 12 pairs of electrons around it.